So do you all want to see exactly what happens when you don't fulfill promises that you made like two months ago? That was supposed to be slightly better, now it just looks straight up stupid. Uh, yeah, so I bought a whole bunch more cars than I had before. It doesn't really look like that much, but there's four of them now, meaning that there's like eight of them that I'm probably going to review because I'm not comparing them to, to these and my reviews for each car are relatively short so I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be too long of a video alright so yeah there's just a bunch of cars here so let's just open them up and you know maybe we'll be able to fit all of them into frame alright so I realized a little bit too late that I went ahead and unboxed all of these cars and didn't even get to show you guys what the uh what the cases look like but so it, it, it's too late for that so let's just go ahead and review all of these cars so first up we got Flo one of the Radiator Springs townies that I still don't have this is the first one that I've gotten I'm assuming I don't know if I got any when I was a kid I don't remember seeing one so th th this is a first this is a first I don't even know what kind of car or what kind of make and model she is something about her face just looks a little bit off i think it might be the eyes i'm not sure and that nice little green slash blue i probably shouldn't say anything because i'm colorblind and i'm gonna sound like a like an idiot it's her license plate showgirl you can see my room in the reflection can see the blue walls and the white ceiling So uh, yeah, as everyone knows, or as all Cars fans know, she runs a little gas station in Radiator Springs. And that did remind me of the time when I went to Cars Land and got to eat in that little restaurant. It was cool. They gave me like a little Lightning McQueen shaped box, I guess. And I have no idea what I did with it. And speaking of Lightning McQueen, we've got two of them the first one here is uh lightning mcqueen with cone i'm assuming this is from the scene and where he uh you know was going to driving all around radiator springs and just ran into a, a bunch of cones so there you can they actually gave him an expression which is nice it's kind of weird that the cone is like flat and doesn't have like a circle in it i'm assuming that's what traffic cones look like I've never seen one actually and yeah this is just a regular Lightning McQueen with a with a traffic cone of course and then next up we've got okay that's a problem next up we've got I'm assuming his name is I don't know his actual name but I'm gonna call him Muddy Lightning McQueen and uh, you know this was a uh, from the part in Cars 3 where they went to that derby and he disguised himself in mud and then something happened and he got blasted with water and, all, and obviously all the mud washed off which you can see the mud or you could if this camera worked and if the decals just weren't so grainy and low quality but you can tell you can see how those how the base is completely brown. I'm not sure how since I don't think the mud somehow got under him. And of course he looks terrified out of his mind right now. And of course he's in his racing center uh, appearance, attire, whatever. Uh, I think the only thing about this that I don't like is it doesn't have the little it doesn't have a damaged tire like it would in uh in cars 3. i mean this would just be a little bit better if they had that little circular buzz saw that that school bus had just wedged in his wheel right there or wheel wall whatever you guys want to call it all right let's move on to m fast along i don't know how to pronounce it uh I'm gonna say mm, fast along. I'm gonna just keep 
alternating between them. And I'm, uh, I, from what I've heard, I think this might be one of the last next-gen racers that Mattel's gonna be releasing. I worded that a little bit wrong. This was just one of the last ones that they haven't released. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is one of the last stock cars that uh, hasn't been released. So it's pretty cool, and I'm glad I was able to find him because I think a lot of people have been buying him. Because I really, I, honestly, this is just this just goes for all the Walmart's that I've been to. I have not seen that many new cars. And I swear, every time I go, like, uh, in one week, differences, I guess, they always have the same cars. Like, it's always the same number of mounts. There's always, like, three, uh, I forgot his real name, but there's always, like, three leakless racers always there. For some reason, there's still, like, two, uh, endurance racers. But let's just get back with reviewing him. So you can see he's got he's a nice green. He's the next gen Rev and Go Racer. Let's see what that says on the hood. It says carburetor. Come on, don't worry about the lamp in the back. Just worry about the hood. Carburetor. Decongestant. I'm assuming is what it says. So, I don't know what the human equivalent of this would be. You know, of course, there's the little yellow stripes in the back with the yellow hood. And this is a pretty nice design for a, for a, for a, piss, for a piss and cup racer. Uh, it's just the green, like the different shades of green looks really interesting too. I'm not sure what the X design is really supposed to be. But, you know, still a still a good car I really like that it's a small uh addition but never mind it's not a small addition because it's literally just the arrow and the and the logo all right and then next up we got trainer cruise ramirez with the uh, earpiece i think was what her official name was and she just looks like a regular cruise ramirez you know, with the little, uh, that logo on her side, I guess. The Rusty's Racing Team, I'm assuming is what that says. Okay, I think I was right. I think that did say Rusty's Racing Teams. There's a little underside, I guess. This camera really does not want to work with me right now. Of course, made in Thailand, makes sense, because the decal is so freaking hard to read. License plates, CRS, I think. Oh no, it's a CO186A. Not sure what that's a reference to. So I'm, I'm just gonna, this. I don't do this all the time, but I'm just gonna question the anatomy of these cars. Do their windshield, or do their windows count as their ears? Since they always have their headsets around them. It's, uh, it's kind of weird. Also, What's the deal with the side view mirrors if you can't look at them when they're behind you? That's, you know, something that I just wanted to to bring up. I'm not sure why, because, like, I've, again, I've never questioned the anatomy of cars unless when in a deep conversation with someone. And then here, we've got the oldest one here, uh, Mama Bernoulli, because I think I got her in April or May, I don't remember when, but it was around that time, and this is just weird, because she is so light, her entire body is almost made out of, out of plastic, and I, only this part is made out of metal, and you can clearly see that, because you can see the little, uh, the little separation of where it becomes metal and plastic. And I think you can also see the difference too with the color. And these tires are also made out of plastic and so are the rims. And so there's a little, I'm assuming it's supposed to be here. And also, 
I don't know, but whenever I when I saw this for the first time, I thought these were like exhaust pipes that were just in the back. Is that what they are, or is it literally just hair? Not sure. And then there's this nice little hood that she's wearing. I don't know what to call it. It actually goes all around her, which is kind of funny. And of course, there's the number one, because of course, she's uh, Francesco's mom. Of course, she'd be rooting for her son, like a good parent. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I can't. I can't really make out what is, what that design is supposed to be. I think it's just a bunch of shapes with flowers and and something else. I honestly can't tell what that is. And then next up, we got this guy. I don't know what his name is. I'm just gonna call him the drummer. So let's just move him down here along with everything. So. Course. He, uh, he's one of the pities that's the drummer from that band that was in that bar in Thomasville in Cars 3. I sound like a huge nerd right now, but of course I am because I still get cars and I'm like 16 years old. But whatever, it's fine. So of course there's a little, I think this is a snare drum. I, again, I don't know names of of all the instruments which is sad because I am I consider myself as someone who loves listening to music oh and then there's the bass drum I'm assuming and it's got that little pedal in the back and the little hammer thing and then there's just the basic symbol and with here, they look like they're supposed to be drumsticks, but really they just look like those uh, light up things that those people at the airports use to guide planes, I guess. Because they look orange to me. But again, that's my colorblind talking. I'm not sure what that thing in the back is supposed to be. You can see that big old smile on his face. Alright, so then that's that one. And then now we have the big trailer in the back. So let me just move these to the side. And here we have the Walmart truck. And I think his name is Wally. Which is funny. And honestly, I can think of a better name than that, honestly. Like, whoever named that, he did a good job. This guy is definitely a Wally. So, of course, you know, it's, uh, I'm not really sure how this guy came to be. It's probably the same deal with the NASCAR racers where Mattel just somehow got into, uh, an agreement with Walmart to make this. I don't care. I like it because it's cool. And that means I have another, what's it called, hauler in my collection. So there's the front. I think this guy's damaged a little bit. Or, I don't think that's damage. I don't know what that is. Let's just try zooming in on that. Can I get that out? I don't think I... I could be the tongue, which, in all honesty, is kind of gross, or it could just be a random dab of paint that ha it might be just a misprint, maybe. And then you know, there's the the Walmart logo on there. Same thing with here. Uh, save money, live better. And I didn't notice a little rubber band on the top. Let's see if I can get that out. I'm not sure how. Let's just try to detach this. I feel like I'm gonna I'm break it. I'm pretty sure this thing detaches. Yes, it does. Let's just take that out. Ow. So yeah, the thing detaches, but it doesn't have a little, doesn't have a little stand to keep it from just well, I don't know, it looks fine like that. 
Well, it just does, it does just look a little bit slanted. Now with these, I don't know if the door can open. I know the sides can open because I had one like this. It was for Octane Gain, but I have no idea what happened to the trailer. I just have the, the truck. And of course, it comes with these little rusties boxes, which is basically just folded cardboard. Let's see if I can get these out. Okay, yeah, I am genuinely struggling with opening these. Who would have thought that it's hard to open things when they're like a foot away from your face? So yeah, this is pretty much just folded cardboard. Pretty sure I could unfold this, but I don't really want to. So let me just go there. And then this can also come out. You just gotta slide that out. Bring down the ramp, I think, yeah. There's these two things that just hold it up. I want to see what happens if you just leave it like that. I mean, it looks okay. It doesn't look that bad, but let's see what it looks like with these things out. And I know, I remember, I hated taking these things out because of the one right by the wheels. So there, that one's out. And this one is... Pretty close to being out, but still not all the way. There we go. So now that thing can just stand there. Still looks a little bit off because it's like tilting because there's nothing to hold it up here. And then you can just, you know, just put a, a car right there. And then screw it, let's just keep the boxes right there. Damn, look at how beautiful that looks. And then it would look even better if this was attached. Damn, now I'm a now I'm a toy channel. Awesome. This is what I aspire to be. Well, that's the whole thing of being a review. You kinda have to play with the toys that you buy. I didn't put that on camera, but I did air quotes. And I'm pretty sure that the door also opens. Let's just try to put this back. A lot of snapping. Sounds like this thing's gonna break. Uh, okay, never mind. I don't think the door, the back door can open. All right, so that's all the cars that I bought. I still have two more videos to make because I still have those endurance racers and then those NASCAR racers. So that's also gonna take me a while. I don't know why I put off making this video so much. I just did because I mean, like, again, like, the oldest car that I haven't opened is, like, three or four months old. And I think the last time I got a car was, like, two or three weeks ago. So, again, I, I have no idea what happened. So, yeah, I was just gonna do it for this video. Um, do whatever you guys want. I mean, if you want to unsubscribe, I mean, go for it if you want to make me feel bad 